All right, I'm out here at High Point Village Way, and uh, we'll start with the exterior of the house. The weather is deteriorating very quickly here. Expected to have some strong storms coming through soon. Uh, but the house sits kind of halfway down a hill. So the street is right up there. Then you have this driveway. You can see there's a little bit of a slope. It's gently sloping. And then there's a bigger slope where they cut off or cut out into the hill for the flat spot for the house. But I like the house is down here just a little bit. It looks protected. Um, the property does slant from this right side over to the left side. So any water that does come down this hill looks like it should swell around the house. So we shouldn't have any water issues, which is nice. Of course, the gutters look like they are French drained away from the house as well to alleviate any water issues with the, uh, the basement. Have these nice Leland cypress trees that really separates you from the neighbors and you're a long ways off from the other house so it's really nice. Roof is a dimensional shingle it looks like it's in good shape. Two car garage here on the main floor and this parking area it does have a little retaining brick wall here and you can see there's actually a drain too which is good there's the driveway, leads down to the lake. One thing I do like about this location is how protected this cove is. So even today when we are having oh, 30 to 50 mile per hour winds out on the main lake, and the main lake is really rough right now, this dock is just so protected because it's tucked in this cove, which is really nice. I don't know if you can tell uh, maybe from the clouds, but the, the wind is just absolutely rolling through here right now. Most of the backyard is pretty maintenance free. The hillside is covered with a nice like English ivy. And then they have a rock garden up there. That green lid is going to be your septic access if you should ever have to pump out the septic system. A couple of hardwood trees. And then the same thing on the other side too. Have a nice patio area underneath the large deck, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Exterior of the house looks like it's in really good condition. The dock is well maintained all the boards are good and hard there's no rot looks like it has been recently painted and it is definitely a deep water dock um, even now with the water being as low as it ever is you're still looking at seven, eight, nine, ten feet of water underneath that lift, which is really nice. And you can see they've got some chunk rock that they've put along the bank up both sides to protect, to protect the property from erosion, which is nice.
This lets you see that hill that does come down a little bit into the house. But they flattened it off and built a swell to help out with any runoff.